Did you know that every version of SOLIDWORKS comes with FEA capabilities? Well, they do. Sorta. Let's have a look. Under the Evaluate tab, you'll find a button labeled Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. I figured I'd go through an example study, then we can have a quick discussion on who this tool is for and uh, some of its limitations. With a part open, and yes, it has to be a part, open the Evaluate tab and click Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. If you run into a window asking for a code, don't panic. You can get one for free. We have a video on our site explaining how to access uh, uh, Express tool codes. Or you can follow the instructions through the link presented in that window. For this example, we're going to use a small project I featured in another video, uh, a wall-mounted chain holder for the garage. With the tool open, you'll be presented with a wizard in the task plane and a workflow laid out for you. We're going to start by adding a fixture. I'm going to fix the part using the inside surfaces of my holes. Hit the green check mark and select Next in the task pane. Next we'll add a load. For this study I'm going to select the bottom surface of the middle hook location. Because it's a curved surface SOLIDWORKS assumes you want a radial force and in this case I want that force normal to a selected direction and I'll use the top plane to specify that direction. Change the units to pounds and enter five pounds to represent the weight of the chain. In this case, I've also, I also have to switch the direction uh, this force is acting in. Hit the green check and select Next. Next is material. Because I didn't specify a material while modeling the part like I should have, I have to do it here. Follow the prompts to select the material, 1020 carbon steel, and hit apply. Close, and make sure the material you've selected shows up in the task pane. We're ready to run the study. The first thing SOLIDWORKS is going to do when the study is complete is to show you a video of the part deflecting. General rule of thumb, if the part is deflecting in a way you didn't expect, chances are your setup is wrong. Most likely you're constraining the part in a way you didn't intend, although if we hadn't changed the direction of the force represented, representing the weight of the chain, we'd see that here as well. This is what we'd expect given our setup, so select yes. Here you can look at stress, displacement, and factor of safety plots for your study. At this point we can make adjustments to the study if necessary. I'm going to right click the external load we created to edit it and apply that same 5 pound load to each face where the chain would rest. Click the green checkbox will bring up a prompt to rerun the study. And that's it. The wizard takes a lot of guesswork out of the studies like this and it's a great tool if you're just getting into FEA analysis. But because you're limited to only analyzing parts, its usefulness is also limited. You're also limited to the types of fixtures and external loads you can use, so you have to keep that in mind as you're building these studies. Finally, you have no control over the mesh. If I show the mesh for this part, you'll see it's very coarse for a part like this. So you'll want to have a good understanding of what you're looking at before using something like this in a production environment. The SimExpress tool in SOLIDWORKS is an excellent teaching tool for learning the basic workflows for FEA analysis. If you're interested in incorporating FEA into your design workflows, reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative to learn how to get started. Thanks for watching.